whenever I'm on the water, on whatever kind of craft, you know, whether it's a, it's a kayak or if it's on narrow boats, friends' boats, or one of my brother's Dutch barges that he sells, I just love that healing feeling of being on the water and I really had it today. The moment I pushed off and I stood up on the board and I got going and I, and I knew that, you know, the journey had begun and I'm back on the water. Nothing else is going on in my life. You know, there's some of the stress with like work. It just all goes away. It's just me and the river and my thoughts and the, the birds and the sunset. I just feel better. Off on the river tonight, uh, I was going to do a spot of wild camping. I'm actually going to leave the kayak at home this time. I, I thought I'd try it on the stand-up paddleboard. Never done sup camping before. Don't even know if that's a thing, you know, <laughs> if it's even possible with all my stuff and everything. I normally travel ultralight anyway when I go out camping, uh, but even in the kayak, there, you know, there's room in the back for like a tent, some camping gear. With the board, uh, yeah, I cannot overload it. So I'm gonna have to leave so much stuff at home, uh, take the absolute bare minimum. Uh, I'm gonna have room really for one 30 litre dry bag and that's it. I'm going to leave the tent at home, no point, it's too much room, so I'm going to do a hammock atop setup, which I prefer anyway. This is uh, actually um, a poncho liner. I heard a good tip uh, about these as a substitute sleeping bag, so apparently in the Vietnam War, these soldiers really swore by these. You can, you know, convert it into a bag or you can wear it like a duvet. And I've um, been trying this out at some music festivals lately that I've been working at as a substitute for a sleeping bag and I'm totally sold on it. I've really, really slimmed down my cook set for this one. I'm just taking um, a Trangia alcohol stove and uh, my ultralight kettle. I was gonna take my frying pan and cook a nice dinner because it's such a lovely evening and I love cooking in the outdoors and everything, but I'm just being sensible. I'm just taking one dehydrated adventure meal. Just add hot water and I just really need to keep the weight down. Fuel for the uh, alcohol stove, the kooksa, and it's a non-negotiable essential item. Never drink and paddle, obviously. Yeah, that's for the end of the night at camp when I'm all done for the day. So I think, you know, for most people, that's it. That's all you need. Uh, but I've obviously, I've got all the, the camera gear to think about and everything like that. And normally I take loads of stuff with me, like way too much. I was thinking with this one, maybe I could just do a phone and an action camera. You know, my first ever videos that I ever did for YouTube, my, uh, when I did the whole of the River Thames, that is literally all I had. And even to this day, I think that's probably the best stuff I've ever done on YouTube. Because it's not about the gear, it's about the content, isn't it? But, you know, I was thinking, oh, I've got the drone now, I can't leave that at home. And then I've got a new lens for my main camera and uh, sound as well. You know, I'm a sound guy, so, you know, I always like to make sure I can have my sound recorder and a decent mic on me. So I think what I'm gonna do is I've got this, um, it's like a five litre dry bag that I just use for like little bits. Uh, I'm gonna cram as much as I can into that for like filming and, and that'll be it. Cause I can just wear that like a man bag anyway. Um, and then for water, I've just got an old five litre plastic bottle here. I'm gonna fill that up so I'll have plenty of fresh water, uh, especially on a day like today. Right, <laughs> let's uh, see how this goes. Okay, hopefully that'll work.
Hey, can you even see that? It's like camouflaged. <laughs> That's a pretty cool place. Starting on the water a lot later than I was hoping to. There was loads of disruption on the tubes and the trains getting here. It's like really hot at the moment, so you just end up with all these travel problems, don't you? So, I mean, it's a it's a beautiful sunset paddle, but I mean, I've got probably about an hour left of the light, and I'm gonna seriously have to find a camping spot soon. Otherwise, I'll be sleeping on the towpath. So I'm a lot slower than uh, in the kayak. I don't know if that's a sup thing or if it's a me thing, but <laughs> anyway, I, it's, anyway, speaking of which, I should probably you know stop talking and get paddling. <laughs> like islands, that's what I want to see, like, hopefully it's suitable for camping, fingers crossed, we'll have a look. Looks incredibly overgrown but uh, all I need is a landing spot, hopefully I can clear some of the, the bush you know, and uh, set up the hammock. I mean I don't think I have any other options now, it's getting too dark. The most glamorous spot I've ever found, but you know, I'll take what I can get this uh, this late in the day. A lot of nettles and stuff, but uh, well, maybe I'll maybe I'll cook with them, maybe I'll make some nettle tea. Whoever was last here hasn't been sticking to leave no trace principles, so uh, I always you know bring a plastic bag with me for my own rubbish. So I'll just you know, let people just get carried away, they're having a good time, and yeah, you know, it's only one crisp packet. Maybe they clean up the rest of it, they just miss the spot or something, you know. Everybody who enjoys the outdoors should just do the best that they can to preserve it for other people, you know. There's an old campfire here from before, there's even some wood, but yeah, I can't really use it. I didn't bring any tools with me, you know, any anything for, to like cut wood with. Um, uh, I wasn't expecting to make any fires, but um, yeah, I'll just set up the alcohol stove in there, you know. It's uh, probably best place for it anyway, you know. Don't want to put it on like, you know, fresh ground, so. It's a bit low, but it'll do for tonight. I'm gonna to be sleeping for a few hours anyway. You know, I want to do some paddling in the morning. That reassuring sound of water boiling in the outdoors, yes. Chicken curry. Normally this sort of food is really, really salty because they're, you know, they're for like mountaineers and people at real high altitude where, you know, you sort of lose your, your, your sense of saltiness or, or something. I don't know, I'm not a mountaineer. Um, but yeah, uh, the, this, is, this is not that salty. Um, great. The good thing about these sorts of meals as well is like, I don't have to do any washing up. 
So I think uh, sup camping is going well so far. It surpassed my expectations. I thought this was going to be a bit of an experiment. I didn't really know how it was going to go, if it would work. And um, boy, has it worked, yeah. I got here with no no disasters and it was a, it was a bit late just a rail network um, you know struggling to cope with the extreme heat we've had and everything like that. it's no one's fault you know I'm still a complete novice with the stand-up paddle thing as well so like you know that my last video documenting for the first time trying it out and uh, some people got in touch were just like oh Stevie what are you doing you know because uh, you know my technique and I didn't know what I was doing and it really showed um, but come on guys give me a break we've all got to start somewhere well, the video would have made sense if it was too slick anyway you know I, it was all about beginner stand up paddle boards so and yeah I, I think it, yeah, it'll take me a while to get the technique and the, the muscle memory and get all that down and everything it's like learning to ride a bike yeah but I enjoy it it's really good it's a different perspective from kayaking uh, it's a different pace uh, which I really like and um, there's a different community as well I've always seen this stand-up paddle with people you know and wave to them and stuff but yeah I feel like uh, yeah I can relate a bit more now it seems very popular with couples very popular with with women more so than kayaking I think yeah it's been good I'll definitely do it again and I'm looking forward to paddling back tomorrow as well It's nearly time for bed, so uh, before I hit the hay, I'm going to treat myself to a, a hot chocolate. Not just any old hot chocolate, I'm going to have what I call a paddler's hot chocolate. Using um, instant hot chocolate. That's fine, you know, there's no point bringing stuff that you don't need. Extra faff, extra weight, extra packaging. Just want to keep it really simple. Right now, <laughs> what makes it a paddler's hot chocolate as opposed to a normal hot chocolate? Some spiced rum. inside line. There is no inside line. Fill water to inside line. There's no inside line. <laughs> There's no inside line. I don't know. Sort it out. Oh, it's so simple. I'll well, just guess. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year so far. Today it's going to be even hotter, 40 degrees Celsius is predicted. So which is, um, that's kind of unprecedented in these parts. So yeah, hence the 100% linen and the straw hat and everything. I think people like just feel that they must wear sportswear when they're doing any kind of paddling. And uh, it's not always the case. Uh, I think, you know, the last couple of days I've been super comfortable when I was just wearing the classics. And you know, things are old fashioned for a reason, you know, because they've stood the test of time and they work.
check this out, look at the river. Absolutely dead. There's nobody about. I've got the whole place to myself. I think because there's severe weather warnings you know, with, the, with this heat, people are just, they're just avoiding the river at the moment. Maybe they'll be down here, you know, this evening when it starts to cool down a bit, but yeah, I need to get back to the lock. And obviously I'm, I'm not gonna paddle in the extreme heat, uh, you know, still quite early in the morning. As long as I get to Reading by nine-ish, be all right. Sometimes you've got to allow yourself a little bit of a rest, don't you? Just taking it easy, enjoying this wonderful day. And here we are, back where we started. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Happy paddling.